Why do I have to be one with the tear ducts? Roscoe, what's wrong, son? My tear ducts have gone again. Oh no, poor you, son, dad, what's going on? Your brother's tear ducts have gone. Again, oh no, my poor big brother. Oh no, my poor brother. Not the tear ducts again, poor Roscoe. We need to cheer him up. I think I can provide that service. Roscoe, my dear cousin. Come with me, and I shall cheer you up. Now, in fact, you Stratton's all five. Come with me and I shall cheer you all up. Now. What a good girl our Lily is. I'll say, she cannot stand seeing anyone upset. Especially not her own cousin. She's a sweetheart. And she forever shall be. I'm proud to be her brother. She is a great big sister all the same. You're all a bunch of creeps. Millicent. Tegbeta. Barat. The. Second. How dare you insult us like that? We're your parents, and Remina, Roscoe, Lily, James the Second, and Sheila are your brothers and sisters. And you were very naughty to think it's appropriate to insult us like that. What are you losers going to do about it? If I didn't know any better, Millicent Dabitha Barrett the Second, I'd say you're being naughty again. She's being very naughty, Lily. Your father and I are about to ground her. Ground me? I don't think so. We know so, Missy. You get to your room, you are grounded for seven weeks. Come with me, and I will put you an appeal, and give you a dummy, now. She jolly well deserves it. That rascal Stratton is a crybaby. I shall put an appeal on him. No, you most certainly won't. Oh look, it's Mr. Constipated again. He also needs a nappy on, and fast. Millicent Tabitha Barrett II, how dare you think it's appropriate to threaten my son and I with nappies. You are so very naughty. Yeah right. What on earth is going on? Millie II is threatening to put nappies on me and Roscoe. Millicent Tabitha Barrett II, you will do no such thing as put my husband and son in nappies. How dare you think that kind of behavior is appropriate? You can have a nappy as well, as you need one. I heard that. So, Millicent Tabitha Barrett II, you think you're going to put nappies on my mum, dad and brother, do you? I know I am. I'm going to put a nappy on you as well, Lizzie May Stratton. I can't believe this. Okay, you lot, but go and put your nappies on. I don't think so. Millicent Tabitha Barrett II, you stay away from me and my family. All five of you come with me, and I will put you all in nappies, now. That's your nappies on, and they stay on until you need changing, do you hear? Millicent Tabitha Barrett II, how dare you think it was appropriate to put us all in nappies? You have really pushed it this time. Just wait till your parents find out. What's going on here? Well Sheila, you won't believe this but your naughty sister has put nappies on all of us. What? Are you serious? I can't believe this. You need to shut your face, Millicent Tabitha Barrett II. You are so very naughty. Mom and Dad are going to love hearing about this. Don't be a narc. I'm afraid I don't have any choice in the matter. You have driven me to this. What's all the shouting about? We could hear it from the fifth floor. Mom, Dad. Just the grown-ups I wanted to see. Millie the second for nappies on all five of the Strattons. How naughty would you believe? So that's what all the shouting was about. As if we couldn't have guessed. Oh no, not my constipated parents again. Here to put. Stop right there. They are here to punish you. How could you think you don't deserve it after what you did? Millicent Tabitha Barat the second. How dare you put nappies on the Strattons? That is so highly inappropriate. You are a very naughty girl. In fact you are so naughty, we think you need a nanny to look after you. I'm out of here. However, we can't find one at the moment, so until further notice. You're grounded, big time. And you're going in nappies. So, come with me, and I will put you a nappy on, 
now. With that naughty girl out of the way, we can take these nappies off and change back to being properly dressed. I understand you need a nanny for your youngest daughter. That's right, I'm James. And I'm Millie. And your youngest daughter's name is? Millie the second. How old is she? She's seven. Seven? That's right. And what exactly does she do that's naughty? She swears like a trooper. Disobeys us all the time. Speaks to her brothers and sisters like they're total strangers. Litters on the street. Lies all the time. And uses poor excuses for not using the toilet. On top of behaving badly. Well, at Nanny's Incorporated, we don't normally take on children over five. But as this is an extreme case, I think little Millie the second needs me. I'd like to meet her. Okay. Sorry, we don't rightly know your name. Grace Hemingway. Okay, Grace. Just a moment. Millicent Deborah to Barrett the second. Come down here, on the double. You wanted to see me, Mum and Dad? Yes, uh, there's someone who wants to meet you. Who the fuck are you? I am your nanny, Grace Hemingway. And how dare you speak to me like that? That's very naughty. I will not tolerate it. I don't need a nanny. Yes, you do. You really are a very naughty girl. Millicent Tibber to Barrett the second. My first official act as your nanny is to warn you, if you keep being naughty, you'll be grounded. You don't have the power to do that. Actually, yes, yeah, she does. So watch your step. But she's not my mum. I heard how you always disobey your parents. This probably means you sneak out every time they ground you. That will not happen while you're in my care. That felt good. Pui. What is that awful smell? You messed yourself. Come with me, and I will put you a nappy on, now. That girl is just so naughty. Lilac and Minsen initiated. That's much better. Mum, Dad. We couldn't help wondering who that was, telling Millie the second off. That would be her nanny, Grace Hemingway. You finally hired her nanny. Yes, we hired Grace this morning. At last. Hopefully she'll be able to squeeze the naughtiness out of Millie the second. All sorted. Hello there. You must be Millie the second's older brothers and sisters. We are indeed. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I'm Romana. I'm 15 years old. I'm Roscoe. I'm 14 years old. I'm Lily. I'm 13 years old. I'm James the second. I'm 12 years old. And I'm Sheila. I'm 8 years old. It's very nice to meet you all. I'm not allowed to talk to strangers. Excuse me, Millicent Tegger to Barrett the second. These are no strangers. They are your brothers and sisters. How dare you speak about them like that? You are being very naughty today, and I am very cross with you. Go to your room now, you are grounded for three months. Naughty girl. Grace, can I ask you a question? Of course, you can, Lily. What would you like to know? Are you used to handling a naughty seven-year-old? Usually, I only help out parents with naughty two to five-year-olds. But your parents were desperate for help, so I agreed to be your naughty little sister's nanny. You can expect to get paid handsomely for this. Shall we say, 200,000 pounds a week? 200k a week? Really? Really? We live in a shared mansion with my sister and her crew. We can afford it. That's fantastic. I never expected to be getting paid 200k a week though. That works out of 10.4 million pounds a year. There are wage options. There's... 100,000 pounds an hour. 150,000 pounds a day. 200,000 pounds a week. 250,000 pounds a month. Or 300,000 pounds a year. It's up to you. Wow. Those all sound like life-changing sums of money. I'm inclined to accept the mentee wage packet of 250,000 pounds. 250,000 pounds a month is yours. Thank you so much. No allowance for Millie the second for the next three months. If she's good she normally gets a £50,000 weekly allowance. Now she loses 12 weeks worth. So she loses £600,000.
that's that taken care of. The Stratums have a nanny coming out to teach that naughty girl in the second to behave. So that's what you were on the phone to Nanny Zink about. You were trying to hire a nanny for the Stratton's youngest son. That's very naughty. How dare you think that was anywhere near appropriate? It's all right, son. I'll sort this out for you, Millicent Tabitha Barrett the second. How dare you think it was appropriate to hire a nanny for my little boy? He never does anything wrong. Apart from acting like a baby. I need to put a nappy on him. Catherine, you've been made a fool out of by this naughty little girl here. She hired you to take care of that sweet little boy, and he does not misbehave. The you have it. That naughty little girl is the one who deserves to be punished, and not my son. So, you thought it was a good idea to phone in with a phony report about Darren the second, did you? How dare you even think about it? That's very naughty. I need to get back to the organization and explain to them that you have wasted their time. Sending me out on a hoax call. Millicent Tabitha Barrett the second. How dare you prank call my organization and waste their time hiring Catherine out to look after your cousin. That's really naughty. I will not tolerate it. We'll change your nappy now, and then you are going to bed. Naughty girl. Don't worry, son. I will see to it that you get the apology you deserve. Darren, I am most dreadfully sorry for what that naughty girl did to your son. He needs cheering up, and fast. I'll accept the apology on my son's behalf. I hope Millie the second learns to behave soon. Pocket. Grace, why are you so sad? Well, Sheila, I'm sad because your naughty little sister upset Darren the second by hiring a nanny out for him on a hoax call. What? Are you serious? This sort of thing should be brought to mom and dad's attention. Calm down, Sheila. Your mother and I already knew about it. Darren told us, and we told Grace. Oh. Then, if you'll excuse me, I need to go and help cheer Darren the second up. Thank goodness for that little one. She's so sweet. She's the only one of my lot who can cheer Darren the second up. In the same way, Lily is the only one who can cheer their Oscar up. That's impressive. Come on, sweet Darren the second. Please cheer up. I can't. Your naughty little sister did this to me. Say, I have an idea. Please, Cher. Why don't I take you to the park? Really? Absolutely. Of course I'll have to run it by your mom or dad first. Sheila, of course you can take him to the park. Off you go and have a nice time. I love you both. We love you too, Dad. Come on you. Let's get you to the park. You deserve it after all that's gone on today. And she succeeds once again. That girl has a knack for cheering Darren the second up. Millie the second. Can you come here please? I didn't do anything wrong. You're not in trouble darling. I'm not. No sweetheart. You haven't been naughty in a month. I think you've learned your lesson. You're leaving. Yes sweetie. You don't need me anymore. My work here is done. You're a quick learner and I'm very proud of you. It's just we've formed a close friendship over the past four months. Millie, I love you. You're a darling kid, but you've finally outgrown your immature ways. So I must take my leave. Will I ever see you again? You will see me around, sweetness. This isn't the last you'll see of me. Okay. Cheer up, sweetheart. Grace isn't needed here anymore. You'll still see her, just not. Poor kid. She's taking this too hard. I knew this would happen. I need to be alone. Goodbye, Grace. And luck on your next job. This is it, James and Millie. I'll be off now. Poor Millie the second. She's devastated about Grace leaving. We need to cheer her up. What's all the crying about? Oh dear, Rasco, Lily, James the second, Sheila, get down here, right now. Poor thing. Devastated that Grace has had to leave. We need to cheer her up. I hate seeing our kid sister this upset. Perhaps I can be of assistance. All right, Millie the second. I know just how to put a smile on your cute little face. How? 
today, just to cheer you up. I'll take you out and we can do whatever you want. Really? Really? I love you dearly. I can afford it. I saved up over £100,000 of my allowance. And I'm going to use it to treat you. You two are free to go, and have fun, sweet little kid. Blimey. The end of the school year came fast. Attention students and faculty. This is Mr. Thingamajig here. Can Millie Barrett II come to my office please? I wonder what this be about. What have I done? Nothing of course. I called you in here to discuss your final marks for the year. What is my final grade this year? I'm extremely happy to tell you that you got straight 90s this year. Straight 90s? So this means I... Passed? You passed year two with flying colors. Mr. and Mrs. Barrett and Sheila. So glad you could come. What's this about, Mr. Thingamajig? Do tell us. Little Millie the second here got straight 90s this year. So this means she progresses to year three. That's right. She progresses to year three. Oh, Millie the second. We are so very proud of you. As for you, Sheila, I'm very pleased with your results as well. You got straight 80s. This means I get to go to year four. We're very proud of you both. I can't believe I got straight 70s. I get to go to year 11. This is awesome. Straight 60s for me. I get to go to year 11. I can't believe I got straight 50s. I get to go to year 8. I'm gutted. I got nothing but 10s, 20s and 30s. I have to repeat year 8. And not only will I be grounded, but I will have to put nappies on as well. Lily Rose Barat. How dare you fail your year. You are grounded all summer. Not only that, you are having nappies on as well. So, come with me and we will put you a nappy on, now. Let's have a closer look at this. Wait a minute. This isn't Lily's final report card. It's someone else's. Lily has her nappy on now. Wait a moment. Megan Foster? Why that little cheat? No wonder poor Lily failed. I'll unground her and she can take her nappy off and put on a fresh pair of knickers. I'll get in touch with the school and find out what her real final marks are. Lily, can you come down here please? What is it, Dad? I'm busy being devastated about failing my year. You didn't fail. You passed. Really? Really. I just got off the phone with your headmaster and he told me you actually got straight 80s. Panic over. I get to go to year 9 after all. You do indeed. Congratulations. Just one thing. If that wasn't my report card, then whose was it? It was McGain Foster's. Why that little cheat? How dare she switch her report card with mine? I'm so angry, I could mess myself. I need to put a nappy on. Come with me, and I will put you a nappy on, now. I can't believe this summer's over. I know what you mean, honey. The kids are back to school. The 2023 to 2024 school year is here. This is it, my first day of year 11. It'll be a blast. Mine and Lucy's first day of year 10. Work experience year. My first day of year 9. I need to focus, as it's my SATs year. My first day of year 8. Off we go. Here I come year 4. I can't wait. As for me, I can't wait to start year 3. It's going to be special. You'd best be off now. You don't want to be late. We love you so much. We love you both too. Dad, you look different without your glasses. One of the children notices. James, I see your laser eye treatment worked wonders. It did. Thanks, bruv. Anything for you, bruv. Anything. You two are so sweet. Sarah the second is awake. And she's wet. Better go and change her nappy, and get her up. I'll go as well. Daddy's coming, 
baby. Let's go out for a bit. Yes, let's. There, all nice and clean. A clean baby is a happy baby. Hey mom and dad. We are back from school. And before you ask, it was great. Sweet little Sarah the second is up. We are glad to hear it. I'm off to play in my room. Mind if I join you? It'll be great to have some father and son time. You boys go and have fun. You deserve it. Come on, son. Let's go, now. Roscoe and I have homework to do. So Lizzie, when you're ready, let's go, now. Sarah the second, you're my sweet little baby. Good morning pupils. Allow me to introduce you to your substitute teacher for the week. Mrs. Roper. Good morning class. It's lovely to meet you all. Year 3 is my class for today. Well kids, don't just sit there. Introductions await. I'm Bill Swan. I'm Millie Barat II. And I'm Stephen Bennett. A word of warning. Bell can be really naughty at times. I sense a detention coming on. Mrs. Roper. Detentions don't work on Belle. It just makes her more naughty and immature. What are you going to do? Put a nappy on me? Belle Swan. That attitude is far too immature for an eight-year-old. If you keep it, you will go in nappies and stay in them all week. Stop it. Ew, I'm so scared. Not nappies. How very scary. Watch out. Belle Swan. You are having nappies on for the rest of the week. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Come with me, and I will put you a nappy on now. Okay, then. I think it's time to come with me. Miss Brown, I haven't done anything wrong. Sheila, you're not in trouble. I just need to talk to you. Say no more. A 42-year-old teacher like you is more than welcome. Sheila Rose Barat. You do not state my age, that is strictly confidential. And I don't know how you found it out. How dare you even think it's appropriate to go snooping around the staff room and then use my age in conversation. That's very naughty. I will not tolerate it. You just earned yourself a month's worth of after-school detentions. Starting today at 3 o'clock. Sorry, it won't happen again. That's not going to make the cut. Detention. My classroom. This afternoon at 3. I don't know what your mother and father would say. Don't tell my parents I've been naughty, please. I don't have a choice. You've been very naughty, and they must know. What must we know, Sandy? Sheila has just done something naughty. That's what you must know. What? Are you serious? Dead serious. What did she do? She went snooping around the staff room, overheard my age and used it in conversation. That's it. Sheila Rose Barat. How dare you think it was appropriate to go snooping around for Miss Brown's age and then use it in conversation with her. That is so very naughty. We cannot allow this to keep on. When we get home, you are to go to your room, as you're grounded. What a naughty girl she is. Lily is ready to enter the classroom. Lily. What is it, Roscoe's, Lizzie and Lucy? There are no more classes today. Why on earth not? Because there has been a state of criminal damage done to the school hall. So, they've cancelled the rest of today's classes and are sending all students home. What does this mean for my SATs? They cancelled this year's exams on that front. Your SATs and my GCSEs. You don't need to worry about failing your year, as they guaranteed that you will still be able to go to year 10. What a relief. 
So, when you're ready, let's go, now. What a day I've had at university. Don't worry Scarlet. We'll be off home soon. Are you ready to go? Not quite. We brought little Lily with us. And here is your naughty little Lily. You can't leave yet. Millie the second is right. Where are Darren and Sarah? Sarah is upstairs changing Sarah the second. Thank you for having us. Anytime, neighbors. What Millie, a day this is we don't have out. time to hang around. We've got school. Oh yeah. Let's go. We better get to class before we get detentions for being late. Millie Barrett the second. Why are you over an hour late? Lost track of time. Sorry. What a poor excuse. You're a very naughty girl. Detention. Three weeks. You're putting me in detention? Yes. I'm putting you in detention. So come and add your name to the list. Ha, 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 ha. Millie's getting a detention for being late. Look at the naughty girl in detention. That's your name on the list. Report to room 450 after school. Oh look, I got the little detention girl sitting next to me. Belle Swan, do you need a detention too? No. Then stop making fun of Millie. Otherwise it'll be a detention. I'd listen to that if I were you, Belle. Phew, I'm so scared. The little one should be home soon. We're back, Dad. Sorry we're late. We had detentions for being late to class. James Charles Barrett, you really suck at being a father. You should ground your daughters. Belle Swan, how dare you speak to me like that? Yes, how dare you speak to my husband like that? And you, Millicent Tabitha Barrett, you call yourself a mother. Let's see these naughties either side of me get grounded. Millie, Sheila, go upstairs and let me handle this. As for you, Isabel Janine Swan, nothing, I repeat, nothing gives you the right to come in here, criticize my mum and dad's parenting and order them to ground my little sisters. That is highly inappropriate in every way. Get your naughty bottom out of here, and on the double, are you going to fuck off? Or do I have to grab you by the scruff of your neck and drag you out and back to your own mother? I'm not leaving until you apologize for swearing at me. Fine. Then I shall have to drag you out. How dare that naughty little girl have the audacity to come in here and insult us like that. She's back with her parents now, and they've grounded her for 30 weeks and promised not to let her come our way again. Thank you, sweetheart. Your father and I are very lucky to have you for a daughter. Just as me. Rasco, James the second, Sheila and Millie the second are all very lucky to have you for a sister. Oh Romana, that's so sweet. I consider myself a very lucky girl to have you lot as my family. I love you all. We love you too, sweet Lily. You're a lovely girl, and you're very mature for a 14 year old. Does anyone think I'll be a good mother someday? We know you'll be a good mother someday, Lily. You show a tremendous amount of love. I'd say you have a mother's love for our little sisters. I'm sorry, Mum. I feel like I've cheated you out of your motherly role. Lillian Rose Barat, you know better than to think that. You have the love of a mother for your little sisters because you are looked up to, by them. You three have a very close relationship as sisters. Those girls think the world of you. You mean, even though I'm their big sister they see me as being a second mother? Lily, the long and short of it is your little sisters adore you and we know you adore them. 2. I do adore them more than they adore me. I love them to infinity. And it's that love that empowers you to show the same protection we do for all six of you, for your little sisters. However, you need to back down. Let us put them to bed tonight. I think I might need someone to put me to bed. I'm so tired. Come on then, daddy's girl. Let's go and put you to bed. Actually, James. Why don't we both put her to bed? Don't waste time just put me to bed, for Christ's sake. All right don't get ratty. She's getting ratty because you're wasting time trying to decide who should put her to bed, and not taking her up. Romana, can you put me to bed please? Of course I can. 
Come on you tired girl, let's get you off to bed. That's what we get for not taking her up. All right darling, into bed. Good night sweetheart. Night Ramana. Sweet dreams, I love you. Love you, Ramana. I need to get up and ready for work. Good morning, honey. Good morning, sweetheart. Are you getting ready for work? Yes, babes. Off to the shower. What a lucky girl I am. I'm 36, and married with four adorable children, and pregnant with our fifth child. Better get up. Now to get freshened up. Shouldn't the kids be up by now? We are up, Dad. As we have school. And it's very important. As we all have exams. Blimey. What a strange but good dream. Good morning, sleepyhead. Here I am, Daron James Stratton III, son of Daron James Stratton II and grandson of Daron James Stratton I, up and ready. Good morning Daron III. Good morning, Dad. Here you are, my precious son and grandson. How are we doing? We are really well thanks, Dad. Glad to hear it. Good morning everyone. We hope you're well. And we know this day is going to be good. It certainly is. Let's hope so. Dad, try to think positive. It's about to get better, as we Strattons are all stepping out. So, when you're all ready, let's go, now. Hey honey, how about we go out for some alone time? That's a very good idea. You jolly well deserve it. Absolutely. Go and enjoy yourselves. We wouldn't have it any other way. Go on, have a great time. You really deserve it. We really think you need some alone time. In that case, off we go. That's the grandparents off out for some alone time. And that's my son back from university. That's incorrect. I haven't gone yet. Silly me. Of course you haven't. I'll be off now though. See you all later. Love you all. Romana, that boy has become such a well-achieving young man. Nah, 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 nah. He's an overachieving cheat. That's exactly my point, Dory. Dory Noreen. And Sandra Louise Barrett. How dare you think it's appropriate to insult Nemo like that? That's very naughty. We will not tolerate it. Sandra, he's your cousin. As for you, Dory, he is your brother. How dare you? You two are a right pair of troublemakers, aren't you? That's very naughty. Stop it, right now. Dory Maureen and Sandra Louise Barrett, come with us. And we will put you both in nappies, now. Those naughty girls need to learn to behave. Mum. Yes, Millie, what can I do for you? Can I have a chat with you, please? In privates. I mean private. Of course you can. My sweetheart, you wish to see me, Mum and Dad. Yes, Pickle. Your father and I are going out. We were wondering if you wanted to come with us. I'd love to, but I have coursework to do. 
Lizzie and I are teaming up. Fair enough. Jess, this is no time for hanging around like a wet lemon. We have coursework to do. Blimey. If Lizzie keeps bossing Jess around like that she'll snap. Now now Shelby, they have coursework to do. How was your day, twins? It was crazy brilliant. By the way Uncle James. You might want to go to the primary school, as James III is having a bit of trouble. What sort of trouble? Bullies. Thanks for the tip. I bet you get down there at once. I will not tolerate my son being bullied. Okay, you too. Off you go and do your homework. The their son. Daddy is going to find you another school. Oh my poor darling nephew. Come here, James II. You need comfort too. We thought we heard crying. What's the matter with our poor cousin? He's been getting bullied. Bullied? Who by? I know exactly who was behind it. It was Bell Swan the second. Na, 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 na. Be a crybaby all you want. Isabel Janine Swan the second. You leave my cousin alone. He's had quite enough of your bullying. And what is more? How dare you pick on my son like that? That is so highly inappropriate. So I have a crybaby and his constipated father in front of me, and a constipated little girl behind me. Here's my solution. Nappies for the lot of them. Bell Swan the second. I might have known it was you. Pick on my daughter, would you? How dare you think there's appropriate? My poor nephew here has had more than enough of your bullying. My daughter certainly doesn't need it as well. So this is where I find you. Isabel Janine Swan the second. How dare you pick on these two adorable children? You're grounded. Naughty girl. Apologize to Millie and James the third, right now. That felt good. Bell Swan the second. You messed yourself. That's it. Naughty. How dare you mess yourself? Nappies for you. No way. Yes way. Isabel Janine Swan the second. Come with me, and I will put you a nappy on, now. Great. Now I'm being sick. Come on, my lovely pickle. Let's go and get you changed, and put you to bed. Come on, son. We need to cheer you up.